in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a triple A battery or any other 1.5 volt battery or higher to produce 120 volts of alternating or pulsed DC current. Now the schematic is very simple. You have your 1.5 volt battery input up to 9 volts. You have two transistors one is a NPN and the other is a PNP. You have a resistor, R1, which is a 27K. I went down to an 18. And the 0.1 microfarad, I adjusted down to a 102 cap or a 0.001 microfarad. By adjusting this capacitor value, you can adjust the frequency of the circuit. Putting a lower value capacitor will cause the frequency to go higher the switching will become much faster and by putting a larger value causes the frequency to drop and the switching becomes slower. So basically what you have pulsed DC going into the transformer and then you have an alternating current coming out from the pulsed DC. Now the transformer could be just a small little power transformer the little yellow transformers now this particular transformer right here was one of those yellow transformers. You can find them in a lot of scrap electronics. And what I did is I wound a whole bunch of 42 gauge wire as much as I could fit on the spool and then after I did that I wound about 12 turns of 30 gauge wire on top of the high voltage winding as you can see in these images here. Now the output voltage is dependent upon the ratio of the primary winding to the secondary winding. And if you put a lot more secondary windings than you do on the primary, the voltage will be higher. So in this case, I'm putting out roughly 120 volts just from a 1.5 volt battery. So if you'd like to have a higher output, you could either add more voltage by adding more voltage the frequency will rise and as it's currently set up it operates around 56 kilohertz using a 102 capacitor with an 18k in this position now I used a 2N2907A and instead of a 2N2222 I used a D965 but a lot of other transistors will also work as well so when you wind your transformer wind as much as you can on the high voltage end and then wind about 10 to 12 turns on the primary side and play around with the primary winding to get the highest voltage output so you might have to take a few turns off to get this voltage to go higher once you got it where you like it if you're not happy with 150 to 200 volt output you would take this output and feed it into this circuit below which is a voltage multiplier circuit you would take your high voltage output from the other circuit, tie it into there and there, and then you would have a negative, you'd have a DC output, this would be the negative, and up top would be the positive. All the capacitors are rated roughly 1000 volt, and I use a 102 capacitor, which is a 0.001 microfarad. And the diodes, 1N4007 rectifier diodes, and even better than that are faster diodes, which is a 1N4935, which I used in my Geiger counter circuit. If you tie it into this circuit, your voltage will become much higher. You could achieve voltages 1,000 volts or more, and then your current would be dropping. So to get higher voltage, you're going to have to sacrifice some current. Now demonstrate. It's a, it's a tiny little circuit, not much to it. I have a little neon lamp. Take this AAA battery, which is not even a fresh one. I think the voltage is around 1.4. A brand new one's around 1.65. All right, so let's connect this up and see how it goes. Got the AAA battery powering the circuit, and there you go. That's 120, 
And that's right about the same brightness if I plug this into a 120 volt wall receptacle. Years ago I used a circuit just like this to charge up some capacitors, some small ones, and I would put them inside of a, a tennis ball with just the two prongs sticking out and you throw it to somebody and they get a nice shock. It would be a shock ball. But there's a lot of little other projects you could use this for. So give it a shot. The schematic will be located in the video description box.